Hi, I don't know what happened at the end of that video, but I don't have the guys here, so I'm going to just shoot two different videos. I'm sorry about that. But what I was saying is, I want to show you something that's very important to me. So I'm not going to pick up the camera in case that was a problem, but you see the quilt in the background. That is a quilt that my grandmother made me. Also in this office, I have her Bible. I have pictures of my grandparents. I have other family pictures. I have lots of things that are important in my legacy. And so as we begin this study, I want us to do something that may not be easy, but I want us to make an honest assessment, just like Romans 12, 3 says, make an honest assessment of our lives, where we stand now with regard to the legacy that we're building, and where we want to go with that legacy. And so here are your two things that I want you to do this week in addition to the homework that you're going to do, the five days of homework. Here are two things that I want you to consider, to ponder, and talk about here on the blog forum, on the comments section. The first I want you to think about, if your life stopped today, what would your legacy be? What would it look like, both good and bad? The Bible says that it is to the Father's glory that we bear much fruit. And so that fruit, good fruit or rotten fruit, are, is going to be part of our legacy. So what would your legacy look like if your life stopped today? The second thing I want you to consider is how does your life measure up to what your legacy should be. Now, there's some Bible verses that I want you to compare your legacy against, and I'm going to put those in the typed section of this particular post so you will have those. In addition, I'll put the references to the other verses that I read earlier. But I want you to consider how your legacy at this point measures up to the Bible verses from Romans that I'm going to give you. Now, here are the instructions. This week, I want you to consider these two questions that I've asked you to ponder in addition to the homework that you're doing. And I want you to come back here as often as you want and talk about this in the comments section. You can talk about it either anonymously or you can use your regular ID that you use for logging on to Google or Blogger or whatever you have used to access this video. Either way, anonymous or in real life, doesn't matter. But this is an online study and it's going to be important that we talk back and forth, that we discuss what God is showing us and what we're learning and, and just the good and the bad and the ugly of this because that's how we learn, that's how we grow. So that's your instruction and I hope you will... will Go at this with all your heart because God is serious about the legacies that we leave. I'll be back here next Thursday with another video looking at a little bit of the discussion that we've had this week and then looking forward to your next week of homework. I hope you have a blessed week as you study about why legacy is important. I will be praying for you. I already have been. And I thank you for participating in this study so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.